Hello and welcome to the second tutorial on Drupal. Today we're just going to actually install it. Now I wanted to highlight first that I've, I got inspiration to do this um, by the Must See Media video podcast which you can find at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast and in my videos you'll see an awful lot of I, uh, they use Drupal, I use the same tech as I did have, and I have a local web server like the guy, the guy Bob does, but I felt that there was a need for something like this on YouTube, because that's not on YouTube, that's on their own site, so let's get started. Okay, so here I am at the Drupal.org webpage, and before I start off, I should probably say that for this you need PHP and MySQL. They're pretty standard requirements. So all we're gonna do is download Drupal and you wanna download the latest one which for me is 6.6. .6. I'm just gonna download very short download and I'm then gonna open that up. archive it and I'm just gonna uh, drag it onto my web server which is actually another folder on my computer because I'm using a local web server but for you it might not be that so I'm just gonna drag the entire folder in there. I want it to be named slash Drupal so I want to go to localhost slash Drupal to get to it but normally what you do is just put the contents of this folder onto your web server and not the whole whole folder because if you put the whole folder you're gonna have to go to slash the name of the folder to get to it. So we're just gonna put that in there and I'm going to rename it to simply Drupal. There we have a fresh Drupal install. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is open it up and go into the Sites folder and go into the default folder and change the name from default settings.php to um, settings.php and then and then we're going to make sure that file has permissions to be written by everybody so I'm just going to change my permissions for now to say that everybody can read and write to it. This is just a, pre a precaution to make sure that everything works right. So now if we go in our browser to our website And then we go slash Drupal. We see we have the installation. Now, what we're going to want to do is create a MySQL database. And you're going to want to do that with PHP MyAdmin. So, most websites, hosts, have PHP MyAdmin, but it's however you um, get to set up a new database. So in PHP my admin we're just gonna simply create a new database called Drupal. And we're just gonna call it Drupal and we're gonna create it. 
we're we're also gonna go back and go into the privileges and we're gonna add a user and we're gonna make that user only have access to that Drupal database. So we're just going to say uh, Drupal user and then we're going to change it to local host and then we're going to give it no password. This is just what I want to do. And, and then we're going to create that user. Once that's done we're going to give it specific privileges to the database called Drupal. And we're going to say that user can have uh, privileges over that specific uh, database. And we're going to uh, check all, giving it all privileges over that database. And we're going to click go. Now we can go back to our inst installation. We're going to install Drupal in English in this case. And because I changed the permissions, it's ticked verified permissions. But if you didn't do that, you'd have a problem there. So we're just going to enter in our database name is Drupal. Now, sometimes for me, this doesn't work, so uh, sometimes I have to go in and actually manually um, put it in. So we're just going to fill all that stuff out. Um, And um, we're gonna give it no password. We're gonna click. Okay, so I'm back and I had to go in and manually edit the default.php file, but you, you can figure out how to do that if you need to. So all we need to do now is insert some basic information. Um, it's 16 hours. I'm just going to call this site uh, Screencast because that's what it's for. And I'm going to put in my real email address. This is in case I forget my password. And I'm not. Uh, I'm just going to call my thing admin. And my password will also be admin. Admin. Nobody can get to this. Uh, so it's just I think you want to make sure uh, clean URLs is enabled if you have support and then we'll just want to click save and continue we now have Drupal successfully installed and we can visit our new site so that was how to install Drupal I hope you enjoyed watching this video and in the next few videos we'll get more advanced thank you for watching